Welcome to my health lesson. Today I'll be talking about pistola fissure and piles. These are very critical diseases. You'll suffer a lot if you have ever developed this. There are basic differences between these three. I'll be talking about a lot of things here. Hope you enjoy and learn a lot so that you can get rid of these difficult uh, diseases. So pistola and fissure are very similar. Basically they are the same disease but in the beginning, pistola is different from fissure. And you usually have it in anus. That's why it is called anal fistula. Anal fistula or anal fissure. Right? So here you have very similar things. Basically, this is an abscess. 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 Right? And this is the cuts micro cuts when you have constipation constipation you will have a lot of cuts because it's difficult to get your urine if i mean the stool pass right but piles different it is a lump of flesh inside the anus right inside the anus you have a lump of flesh if you have this and if you get it operated then there will be a machine and the machine will insert a, a trap something like that and the machine uh, will squeeze the trap and then it will squeeze and squeeze and it will cut by this uh, trap right so this is basically never curable unless you have operation but this can be cured as I cured my fistula after five years. So it's a kind of serious disease. Here you have a serious problem that is you, you have a lot of pain. So pain is very common in this fistula, right? So pain, severe pain in fistula and in fissure. But in piles, you may not have pain. But the thing is that you will have blood. So in case of piles, you will have blood uh, while you are uh, having the I mean, toilet, right? When you are using toilet, you will have blood. Uh, in case of fistula fissure, you can also uh, get some blood while, when you are passing the stool, right? This is uh, possible, but likely that piles, in case of piles, a lot of blood. This is very common here. All right. Uh, so this is basically an abscess. You have 20, uh, 19, 19 pair of glands, right? You have 19 pairs of glands and one of the glands may be infected. Infected. When it gets infected, it will develop an abscess. Abscess. And when you have it, you will have a lot of pus, pus in the abscess and you know the body will not scrap the pus. So the body must push it out of your body. That's why how can it go out because the abscess inside the skin, the skin, inside the skin, under the skin. So what will happen? You have the, suppose you have anus. This is the mouth of the anus and here you have the cavity, cavity, here there may be an abscess. As the inside is very soft and the outside layer is hard, that's why the pus is trying to get out of the body inside the cavity because the layer inside the cavity is very much so this is something very important here and that makes the situation much worse because when it's ruptured when it's broken the pass will get out and stay inside the cavity of the anus anal cavity and there you is your stool is passing and there is connection and stool is full of bacteria contamination so when the stool touches the mouth of the abscess, the pass, there will be a lot of pain, lot of pain, lot of burning, 
very very severe burning sometimes it's not severe but most of the times it is severe and you have to go for for six bath six bath warm water warm warm water so you will have a bucket of warm water and you will sit there top when you sit there it lessens the pain of the burning it's horrible right but in case of piles you may not have sensation pain of burning but in case of fish and fistula right so as i told you that basically fistula comes from this infection there may be at one of the nine pair glands and as it gets infected it develops pass and when it has passed the body will get it away and that's how there will be a an abscess form and there will be a mouth of the abscess and the mouth of the abscess will rupture will break right will open when it opens the pass moves so the pass gets connected with the stool and the passing of this tool can also hurt the abscess and that is how immediately you may not have the pain maybe 30 minutes later maybe even uh, one hour even it happens that after three hours the pain starts when the pain starts you'll go for the six bath you go for the warm water uh, so that you can also use Ibsen, Ibsen uh, salt it can be it can be normal salt at the same time if some salt is even better doesn't matter for a girl what happens salt may be a problem because you have vagina and you have anus together very little gap so when you have uh, salt there may be something wrong with the uh, anus or the uh, i mean vagina there may be problems uh, if you have the solid it, de it depends it doesn't much matter in case of mine i've seen that if i haven't used salt it didn't matter much doesn't matter right so one thing here i'd like to talk now that's very important as it is basically an abscess right abscess abscess so what happens within 21 days you have to solve the problem if it crosses 21 days it little by little uh, gets longer right longer maybe the abscess was like this but now it goes higher bigger right uh, it can even move a different uh, way so that's called channel right it gets channel okay so it's dangerous so uh, you have to have antibiotic in the beginning if you understand that you have this problem then you have to have antibiotic and do not go for seven days do not go for 10 days it may take 20 days uh, maybe 20 days right so what happens if you take time if you do not know whether all the bacteria are gone it means abscess full of bacteria right the pus means a lot of bacteria inside the pus. So when you have taken antibiotic, there is a common mistake. You stop it after seven days or ten days. Your doctor may also tell it for seven days or ten days. And then the thing is that you have found comfortable. You are quite okay. You find that it's okay, but it's not actually okay. There are some other bacteria remaining there. So it is better to have for a long period of time in the beginning even when it's destructive for your body antibiotics very dangerous for your body to kill gut bacteria gut bacteria and you have uh, one uh, 40 trillion 40 trillion trillion gut bacteria these bacteria always kill the foreign bacteria those who are from outside your body those who are very harmful for body right so what's very important here is that do not take time when you have these symptoms if you go to a doctor the doctor may uh, put the finger or if necessary they may uh, have machine and they can be quite comfortable 
I mean, quite understand that you have developed an abscess. When you have the abscess and the mouth of the abscess has a rupture, they will give you and administer antibiotics. So you will go for antibiotics. It's not healthy, but uh, it's necessary because back in fistula, it will turn fistula. So basically, there is no fistula. When the fistula continues for more than 21 days, it turns into fistula. Same way fissure, if you have constipation, when you have constipation, what happens? You have a very hard stool. When you have very hard the stool, what happens? These pressures inside the I mean anus, right? And it may have tears. You will develop tears, you will develop microcards. It also happens when you have urine infection. A girl usually suffers from urine infection. When a girl gets married, the sexual intercourse is not actually properly done. Then what happens? A lot of friction in the beginning of a girl's sexual life gets a lot of cuts, micro cuts, very small cuts. Even you can't see in your eyes, microscope can help you see them. So the same way what happens in case of fissure, as you have hard stool, passing stool gets a lot of frictions with it and then there will be a lot of tears, a lot of parts and they turn into an abscess, right? So when it gets uh, and uh, becomes abscess, what happens? It may not get cured. In the beginning may take medicine and it gets cured. In the beginning may find that it's all fine but in course of time after 21 days if it is not cured before then it will get bigger and bigger longer and longer than the channels this is how uh, the fistula will aggravate will deteriorate so what's advised is that you'll take it, the antibiotics if you can't help if it is more than a month then what will happen you immediately have operation so operation is a must if you have an operation it will be all over in the beginning but if it is one year old two years old then the complicacy grows the bacteria are getting more powerful they are getting more and more number every two 20 minutes can you imagine every 20 minutes bacteria gets double if you have one million bacteria and 20 minutes later, it will be 2 million. Can you imagine? 1 million bacteria can get 2 million within 20 minutes. So every 20 minutes, bacteria will get uh, double. So you have to be very careful in the beginning. It's very good to have operation in the beginning. The end, if you have an old fistula, what will happen? The operation may not get successful and it can come back fistula may come back it happens that in america there was a couple they were having interview in a youtube video they said that the, the husband or the wife is not clear and um, he or she had fistula and they went for 12 years and after that they, they came to india and they had a, an operation in India, Sutton uh, operation, and that's how they got rid of this. But basically, in case of mine, I had no operation, it was wrong, but later I learned a lot, this may help you a lot. So after four and a half years, I stopped medicine. Actually, in, in case of fistula, if you have allopathic medicine, it will not work. Allopathic medicine will not work. You can have homeo, you can have uh, harvel, right? But it will not be more than 90%. Maybe eight, maybe 80%, right? So when I had this medicine for four years, my problem was solved 80 percent right 90 percent solved but 10 percent 20 percent still remaining so what happens when i have had a long time having medicines i got impatient and at one point i stopped medicine i 
did not take care of my health properly and once again it has boomed it can, it has turned into severe condition right then i again had homeo herbal it improves a lot very quickly it improves but it will never go away so after four and a four and a half years what will happen i stop medicines when i stop medicine my fistula is gone i have recovered from this kind of eight months ago probably i am the only one person out of you know eight billion eight billion people on earth eight billion people probably i am the only one person who without operations got rid of fistula so that's why i'm trying to help you so that you can get rid of this problem so how did i solve my problem my problem solved because i followed lifestyle i have a lot of videos on this lifestyle if you maintain properly lifestyle then fistula will automatically go away all other diseases will leave you will go away right so what i told you that in case of fistula fissure you may not have blood you may not have not much possible but if you have piles you will be you will have blood in your stool but this is very easy easy but not curable it will never cure right you cannot cure this it's not possible in case of piles but piles is much easier not so difficult this one is so heavy so dangerous why because you have a lot of pain but the thing is that without operation if you follow lifestyle you can solve this problem but in case of piles you cannot solve this problem because it is a lump as i showed you as this is a lump right it is a lump you have to have an operation the trap will is be squeezed up from outside by the machine and it will be cut when it's cut then the problem is solved the piles have gone uh, basically i see that most of the people do not go for operation they just try to keep their stool soft right stool soft soft stool this is a must as long as you have a soft stool it may not disturb you so piles may be suppose this is your anus and piles is there so it can come all the way even outside the anus when you are passing a stool right and some people will have it their their uh, i mean uh, this pile outside but they will go above so this is anus right so what happens this lump of flesh will even come out when you are uh, passing a stool and when passing is still stops then it goes up you can't see some people have it all the time outside if they touch finger then they will catch it right and some uh, patients do not have this lump outside the anus always remains inside so if it is a if it is your anus then maybe two inches above you have this right this lump it's like alveola you know alveola alveola you have two uh, tongues uh, this tongue and you have inside another tongue so as that tongue is there you see the same thing will be there in your anus anal cavity so you have to have it operation is just a matter of 30 minutes operation is just money nothing else uh, uh, anesthesia will be there local anesthesia will be done you can't find anything wrong the machine will put the put the trap inside and with the help of the machine it will be squeezed so that the lump is cut out so after 30 minutes the operation is over you are fine you have no problem you can go to a job you can come back home whatever you are doing doing no problem nothing wrong and in case of fistula this little problem the earlier the better 
if you have this within two months or so then it's such a normal operation the the abscess will be cut will be drained will be will have the pass out of that and there will be some gauze you know something will be there and uh, later one day or two days or three days they'll be washing so it's a little painful thing i understand but it's much better because you will have suffered a lot all your life with it so fissure and fistula are the same though the beginning is different so if you are very foolish then you will have hard stool if you have hard stool what will happen the fissure because there will be cuts there will be micro cuts there will be tears and when you have this then they will turn into abscess small abscess and this is how what will happen the fistula will develop but in case of piles you have these different as i discussed a lot that's it for now thanks for watching